so happy to say is helping us out when it comes to manners for children, college students, and teens. Welcome so much to the show, Elise McVeigh, child manners and parenting expert. Uh, we really need your help these days. And let's start with what you have to say for five top tips to keep our children polite. Thanks so much for having me. First of all, I think that we are in a very unusual time period. And now that things are starting to open up, we're going to have to get back out there. So I would say overall for children, first thing is, I know that we're not shaking hands right now, but still have a good idea of how to meet and greet. Another one is table manners. It's always an issue. It always will be. If you can practice with your children, including utensil use, that's really important. Another one is communication. So many parents call me these days and say, my children don't know how to communicate with adults or even peers. And if you can do some role playing at home, I think that that's really great to get your children um, in, on the right track for communication. Um, another one is thank you notes. Handwritten thank you notes are still very, very important. And so that's something that we need to teach our children to do, not the fill in the blank for the birthday gifts, but handwritten thank you notes. And then lastly, I would just say using kind words. Even if you have a baby at home, you can always say, please, thank you when speaking to them, but just insist that your children use good words. I used to say to my son, I'm not answering until I hear a please. And it, ah. it broke him of the habit of not saying it so quickly. So if you can just use little tricks like that, that's really helpful. Elise, I love those tips. And I'm wondering, have you been in my home? Because this has been <laughs> a hot topic. We have five kids actually from diapers to diploma. Okay. And, and, and we want them to have those people skills that they don't learn in school. Um, so it, it kind of feels like it, it's easy these days, maybe because of COVID to get lazy. But we used to always tell our kids, look the adult in the eye, look them in the eye. How long would you say it takes for these things to become a habit for children? Depending on when you start, but let's say that you start when they're very young. If it's just a constant reminder, sort of like, you know how you say to your children when they used to have play dates, Make sure, you know, you say in front of the parent, did you thank Mrs. So-and-so? Mm -hmm. And one day they'll finally say, yes, I did. And you're shocked. You're like, oh, <laughs> yeah. okay, so I didn't have to remind you. So I think for every child it's different, but you just have to be so consistent and be on them about it all the time. And it's tiring and especially at the dinner table. It's not fun to constantly correct their manners and their utensil use. But if you can, I think it really pays off. Well, it's such a game changer, I think, for just them being pleasant to be around, which is important. Um, yes. Speaking of pleasant to be around, you have some tips for teens when it comes to tech. I Sometimes I feel like um, uh, the first parent when it comes to technology and teenagers, because there's no book on being a parent with technology these days. We're kind of piloting that ourselves. Give us some, your best tips. I would say don't let your child on a social media platform until that age says that it's appropriate. Mm. And I know that a lot of parents are like, oh, well, you can just lie and say you're born whatever year. But I think that there's a reason for that. Another one is they understand the part about, I think, predators, why you don't friend certain people that you don't know. But something that we really need to emphasize to them is once it's on there, out there and on the internet, it's never going away. So mm -hmm. if you're nine and doing a silly dance for TikTok, when you try to get into sorority someday, they can find it. Even if you take it off, there's a way to find it. I want more. I could talk to you all day long. <laughs> I could chew your ear off with questions. Remind us where we can go for more information, to see your virtual show and to get more from you. Oh, well, thank you for asking. So EliseMcVeigh.com. Also, I'm on Instagram, Mrs. McVeigh's Manners. And I would love for people to check out my show, which is virtual online classes. So if you can't live in Dallas and have classes here, then we are glad to bring them to you. So important. I'm going to send my five kids to the school of awesome. McVeigh's Manners. That would be great. We'll be headed that way. Thank you so much for your time and for all that you do. We appreciate you. We'll put well, all so on IndieStyle.tv. Thanks for having me.
Oh, and I she and I kept interview. talking. She was great. She had some wonderful things to say. Yeah. You can be the smartest person in the room, but unless you have manners, you're not going to get that job. Yeah. How she I flows. agree. It makes so much sense. It does. Yeah. Okay, I feel like drum roll, please. Are you all ready? Oh, it's right. Yes. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Of college basketball trivia. It's the perfect I time to do this. I am not the right? person to do this. Let me just start right there. But we want you guys to play along with us, right? Go right now to the website, crowd.live forward slash hoops and see how you do with the college basketball trivia challenge. Oh, Sean Ayrton. Home, right? Yeah, so he runs a company called Trivia for Hire, and I got to chat with him a little while ago. He is back. Good morning to you, Sean. Hey, thanks for having me back. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, welcome. All right. I don't know if we're ready to be embarrassed. I <laughs> am. It's a matter of knowledge and speed. <laughs> really <excited. laughs> right, Sean? So we're going to grab our phones, and we're all going to refresh. Now, everybody at home, remember that you can play along with us as well. Okay, Sean, I'm going to let you take it from here. Let us know what okay, we great. need to do. So we've got five questions coming up to you all about Indiana college basketball, uh, since we have March Madness invading Indianapolis next week. Um, basically, it's going to be four multiple choice questions. So I'll read the question and then okay. four, question, four oh answers will appear. Um, from there, it's all about speed. So the quicker you submit, the more points you get. All right? Okay. Uh -huh. Sound good? Yeah. yeah. Here okay. we go. So question one. <laughs> Larry Bird took Indiana State University to NCAA Division I National Championship in 1979. What is the mascot of Indiana State University? Oh, is it the uh... Red Hawks, the Blue Jays, the Sycamores, or the Wildcats? This was my father's alma mater. I better get this right. Yeah, hopefully. You better get it right. So I wanted to start off a, a little easy when I came to this. Hopefully everybody in Indiana knows. Um, and the year so I was that born. correct answer is actually the second war. Yay! Yes! Did you everybody got it right. Good job. Right. So we've got some... Uh, okay, we're not embarrassed some, yet. We've got some viewers playing, too, along. Oh, so fantastic. I, so people playing. I so love that. So I had question, two. Butler University's men's basketball team made to the Division One National Championship in 2011 to compete against which team? Um, the Blue Devils, Connecticut Huskies, Kentucky Wildcats, or the Arizona Wildcats? So they went back to I oh. think I know, but I, I could be wrong. 2011. <laughs> if you remember, hopefully you got this one right. 2010, they played Duke. 2011, they actually played Connecticut. Oh, did Oops. you get it right? I put Duke. I, I put Duke, too. Duke. But yeah, that Oops. was. Wow. Okay, so 14% got that one right. Right. So, in which year did the Indiana Hoosiers not? That's the big word right there. Not. not win oh, game, that's tricky, uh, Sean. Championship. I know that's He's tricky. He's trying to trip us up. Is it up. 1953, 1976, 1981, or 1983? Mm. So, I think they have a number of banners that they hang up. I think five altogether. Oh, boo, I got it wrong. Uh. So the answer okay. is actually. Let's see. Oh, it was 1983. I was oh, yes. High five, all this. We got it right. Oh. It's just a wild stab. <laughs> These are good, Sean. We like it. Oh, that was so great. Number four. Which Indiana University's women's okay. basketball team won the national championship in 2018? So was that Notre Dame, Indiana, Purdue, or Ball State? Hmm. Okay. What's my favorite color? I'm just going to pick one. Hopefully you at home are doing better than we are doing. Oh, wait, I think that's right. Oh, is it? Is that not right? So that correct answer is actually Notre Dame. Yay! Fighting Irish. Oh, you guys, good job. Oh, this is fun. What a way to kick off a Friday. Right. That is so great. Yeah, that was... Uh, that How'd was we do? Bit, uh, not too shabby, um, so right? Overall, looks like out of the three, Amber came in uh, first place out of the Oh, woohoo! All by Randy and Nessa. So. All right. Okay. Yeah. So we want to know. First yeah. of all, thank you for doing this with us. This yeah. is so much fun. We love trivia. But how do people get a part of, of what you do? How does this work? Yeah. So if you head to triviaforhire.com, uh, just fill out the form. I'll be uh, reaching out to you. I do all different types of events, either you know company happy hours or um, I'm doing a, a fundraiser for Pause and Think next week. Doing all about pets and pop culture is oh, the topic. So, I might do better. Um, that'll be fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just reach out triviaforhire.com. There Happy you go. Easy enough. Well, Sean, we hope that we get to see you yet again. But we we appreciate yeah. this. This was That's fun, so fun, especially on a Friday, right? I like it. I like that. Yeah. 
All right. Thank Very you cool. so much. Thanks, Sean. Bye, Sean. Thank you. Well, what do you guys think? We well, should do what a good job sometime, right? for him to do. Like, I envy that. Yeah. Just be, being able to lead that. Go, Amber, by the way. Just yeah, she that said, oh, I'll be in last place, and she just, wins her. So. Sometime, like, yeah. if all else fails, just pick A, Pick right? a favorite <laughs> color. <laughs> all right, Tim, what do you think? How would you do, perhaps, with college basketball trivia? Uh, not great. Not I'm not going to lie. I told Randy, I don't do much of the college basketball, but I do do match madness and watch NCAA wrestling oh, during this time of year. I so I would fail miserably. Well I'm not going to lie. All